Hi, last time we completed the very simple stool by attaching the legs to the seat with some stub tenons. Now they still allow for the bottom of the legs to move slightly relative to each other and that puts stress on the stub tenon joints in the seat. So to help reduce some of that I'm going to be adding a stretcher in between the legs towards the bottom. There's still possibility for the stool to rack slightly from side to side and if we want to reduce that even further we could use a wider stretcher. I'm going to be attaching the stretcher with a couple of stub tenons and the distance between the shoulders because these legs are going straight down will be the same distance that the legs are apart up at the seat so that's where I'm going to measure it. With that measurement made I can mark out for the shoulders and the total length of the stretcher component. I want the stub tenons to be 5 eighths of an inch long so I need to add 10 eighths or an inch and a quarter to the distance between the uprights. So that's giving me that measurement and then I want the 5 eighths on each end for my shoulder lines. So I'm just marking around the shoulder line on one end of the stretcher and at the other end and marking for the total length. I set my marking gauge to about 3.30 seconds, somewhere between about 2 and 3 mil, just to give myself a small shoulder at the top and bottom of the tenon. And I've just marked that off so I know how far to cut down. For the tenon thickness, I'm going to use the width of one of the chisels that I have. If I measure the width of the stretcher, which is 20 mil exactly, and the width of the chisel, which is 10 mil, that means I need to set my marking gauge at 5 mil to gauge lines from either side so that I can place the tenon right in the middle. Now I can saw for the shoulders. in the sides I want to start with a center line and that's easy to do by just getting a whole number across the board and marking halfway doing the same a bit further down and joining those together now I'm going to measure down from the shoulder line of the seat tenons down 11 inches and that's going to be the bottom of my stretcher. I know that the tenon on the stretcher is exactly 10 mil, so I can lay out 5 mil on either side of the center line. I can lay out the length directly from the tenon. And again, that wants to be 5mm on either side of the centre line. Now I can connect the corners together. So 
So that's the area for my mortise. And before I get too carried away, we know this wants to be to a depth of 5 eighths. Before I get carried away, we know this needs to be to a depth of 5 eighths of an inch. So let's just set my combination square to read a depth of 5 eighths. We can chop away until that fits nicely in there. Another good indicator is to mark the depth on the chisel itself. And that's gone to the depth that I marked on the chisel. So now I can just cut out towards the ends of the mortise. Finally dropping into my knife line. Oh, that's lovely. So there's generation two of our simple stool. Cheerio!